inspired by ASMR requests Ally and her time travel tingles are going to be doing Disney tingles. Uh, this will be a series where I tell you facts that I've learned about different Disney movies and uh, we'll be doing like a bit of sticky fingers. So I'll be doing a bit of gum chewing. If this is something that you are interested in being in this series, I'd love it if you could leave a comment saying uh, your favorite Disney movie. And if I have it, then maybe it will be the next one. If I don't have it, then I can make sure I go out and buy it for you. Her first one, as you can tell, is going to be Lilo and Stitch, because I figured Everyone loves Lilo and Stitch. I have about seven facts about Lilo and Stitch for you that you may or may not already know. Our first fact is that originally Stitch was supposed to be not an outlaw but a gangster and an galactic gangster. that Java was supposed to be a former gang member <laughs> I did not know that until today I was interested to read that I'm happy that they changed it Maybe being a gangster and a former gang member with a grudge would be a little too violent. So they changed it to outlaw. Second fact is that although one of the key things about the movie is it being on an island, Hawaii, in Hawaii, originally the movie was supposed to be set in Kansas. Due to wanting Stitch to be afraid of water, they thought 
that it should be on an island. Also, this was the first American full-length animated movie, not a short. That was set in Hawaii. I'm sorry if the case is a bit squeaky. is one that I felt was a bit dark, maybe not too dark, but it may be a fan theory, but everywhere that I looked claimed that it was in fact canon, that it was in fact a fact. The reason that Lilo is so determined to feed Pudge the fish is because she believed that he controlled the weather. We all know that. But the reason why she wanted to feed him and make him happy was because that Lilo and Nani's parents were possibly killed in a rainstorm. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but like I said, everywhere I looked it said that it was a fact. Disney has been known to make parents disappear, or at least one of them. We all know that Stitch is extremely physical and his humor very out there. <laughs> and that's part of his charm. The reasons for that is because the animators didn't give Stitch pupils, so expressing his emotions was rather difficult to animate. He only has the little reflection in his eyes. pupils, so his emotions are hard to convey when drawing him. The next 
extract is that even though 80 million dollars sounds like a lot it was low budget for a Disney film other movies like um, Tarzan and The Emperor's New Groove had hundreds of millions of dollars at their disposal but Lilo and Stitch only got 80 voice of Stitch was voiced by a man named Chris Sanders and not only was he the voice but he also co-directed and co-wrote Lilo and Stitch so he was rather busy. is that Disney has been known to have easter eggs easter eggs throughout their movies such as Mike Wazowski in the credits of Finding Nemo or being in Big Hero 6 in the background in a photo on the family wall but throughout Lilo and Stitch there is only one reoccurring easter egg which is several outlines of Mickey Mouse himself.
here and do it. Disney Tangles. Thank you to Allie for ASMR requests for inspiring this, hopefully, series. See you guys in the next video.